What's wrong, Madison? Ah, uh, it seems for some of us, the flu season is the whole year round. And to make matters worse, you just run out of lemon tea. Go figure. Take half a lemon and ouch. Wow, that was a bad idea. The juice went right into your eye. You think the next one will be more obedient? How about we don't cut them at all? Roll the lemon on the cutting board and stab it with the toothpick. Now just squish the fruit and there you go. Like straight out of a bottle. No more mess in the kitchen. Enjoy your lemon tea and get well soon, Madison. What do you have there, Jacob? A pizza? Yum, now we're all getting hungry here. Oops, uh-oh, it looks like it dried out completely. May as well chew on a rock. You won't mind if Emily takes it, would you? Great, but what will she do? Throw it into the trash? Simply put the pizza in the microwave. Yeah, yeah, hold on with that Captain Obvious in the comments. Add a glass of water and set it to 30 seconds. The vapor is our secret ingredient. Ready to see the results? Yummy, yummy. Smells like fresh out of an Italian pizzeria. Wow, the way the cheese drips off that thing. Jacob wishes he thought of this himself. Poor guy. Next time he'll remember, clever hacks are the key to a man's stomach. How about some good old Earl Grey to go with that crispy croissant you're having there, Jacob? Watch out for the... Wow, don't you think you're overreacting a little bit? The things people do when their breakfast goes wrong. Breathe in, breathe out. Maybe you can take it out with your fingers. Ouch! The spoon is too hot already. Bring on some heavy heat repellent gear. Phew, danger avoided. So what do you do if you don't want the tea bag string to slip into the mug? Just loosely wrap it around the handle. Once you pour the water, the little piece of paper will hold it in place. See, that's what it's for. All good now, Jacob? Yeah, all good. Madison just got back from her favorite eco-friendly grocery store. Couscous? Pasta? Look at all that deliciousness. Nothing left than to pour it into their jars, right? Wow, how clumsy of you. Seems like those lentils flew everywhere, just not into their container. Don't you just hate when that happens? If only there was a scoop here, or a funnel. Why not both? Take a plastic bottle, we won't be needing the stickers. Cut the handle out just like that. Remember to use a bottle with a hollow handle. That's the whole trick. Just scoop up some of those lentils and pour them out through the other end of the scoop. Nice, easy, and spill-free. Another mess avoided. Well, Jacob, you really outdid yourself this time. What a delicious looking salad. Just one final ingredient is missing. Some lemon juice sprayed nicely on top. What's going on? Is the bottle empty already? All that effort for nothing. Don't worry, Jacob. You did your best and that's all that counts. Hey, did you notice you have some perfectly good lemons right beside you? And when life gives you lemons, you roll them on the counter to get those juices flowing. Then cut the top off. Take the sprinkler part out of the bottle and put it into the lemon. Don't believe us? Just watch. This is kind of crazy. Who would have thought you could spray some juice directly from the fruit? Bon appetit. What you doing there, guys? Uh-oh, the last lollipop in the house. Let the Hunger Games commence. Who will come out of the duel victorious and claim the precious prize? We have a winner! And Emily is angry. Don't try to win her over now. What's been done cannot be undone. Unless you come up with something better than a simple sweet. Take a hollow acrylic sphere. You can find those online or in artesian shops. Fill both halves with whatever sweets you like and close it. Now we'll need an A4 sized piece of paper. Stick some double sided tape on one side. Starting from the other side, roll the paper in a tight tube. That'll be a lollipop stick. Drop some hot glue on the sphere and connect the two parts together. 
All you have to do now is wrap it neatly in some shiny paper. Hey, Emily. Look, second place is not that bad if you're still the queen of Jacob's heart. Here's your sugary scepter. And it's her favorite candy too. Oh, he knows you all too well, girl. Some say tomato, some say tomato. Madison says, yeah! The attack of the killer tomatoes, it is not. But your knife sure could use some sharpening, eh? Yep, just as expected. May as well cut that veggie with a mug. Or maybe try using the mug to sharpen the knife. Yes, for real. The bottom of the mug is as good as a whetstone. Oops, be careful. Let's try it out now. See? Cut smooth like butter. Enjoy your sandwich, Madison. Jessica is trying out a new recipe, but it's so difficult to read and cook at the same time in such a tiny kitchen. You wish you had another pair of hands, eh, girl? Well, you just made a mess and nothing more. Flour everywhere. Hmm. Trouser hanger. Jamie, would you mind? Open your cookbook on the page you want and attach it to the trouser hanger. Now just hang it somewhere visible and you have your hands free to do whatever you want. Ready to resume cooking, Jessica? That's going to be one delicious casserole. Who's feeling under the weather today? Oh, Emily, well, maybe at least some delicious ice cream could do you good. Rock solid. Just your luck. Jessica can't bear to watch. It's like sitting next to a big baby. Give it here, you sobby thing. Jess will help you flip that frown upside down. Put the ice cream box under warm water for a couple of seconds. There you go, perfect to eat. Thanks, Jess. That's what best friends are for. To help you out even with the smallest of problems. Welcome, Madison. Take a seat. Jessica will be right back with some delicious latte. Mmm, sweet, warm, foamy milk at a push of a button. Aren't these things just the best inventions since the wheel? Everything is going rather well until now. So, what is the problem here? What's going on? Oh no, the coffee machine is going crazy. Madison definitely won't be happy with an accidental espresso. There is no way you can fix that in a couple of minutes. Good thing you still have that French press in case of a technical malfunction. Pour some warm milk into the French press. Now go up and down with the plunger in firm, swift moves. Don't worry, the milk won't spill. Take the skimmed milk and fill the glass in half. Just add espresso and your delicious latte is ready to be served. Do you see a difference? because we sure don't. There you go, Madison. Sorry for the wait. Do you like it? Your coffee machine does a fantastic latte, Jess. But of course it does. Hey, Crafty Pandas. I hope you're enjoying this video as much as Jacob is. Let us know just how much by smashing that like button. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And most importantly, don't forget to leave a comment down below. We read them all. Feeling hungry for some more kitchen hacks? Check out these tricks that will make your preparations a little bit more user-friendly. Use a single chopstick to pierce through the vegetable. Now grate it with the help of this simple handle. The simplest ideas are often the best. How about this? What if you wanted a container with an extra cap? Well, you can buy them, of course, but why waste money when you can make one out of waste? Cut a small hole in the lid of a container and cut out a cap from a juice carton. Now add just four drops of hot glue and ready. Look how easy it is to measure out exactly the amount of beans or lentils you want to cook. And it looks no worse than those containers you can find in a shop. Super fast trick when you want to separate the yolk from the whites perfectly. Just use a kitchen spatula. The yolk stays on while the whites seep through. 
Check out this cutting idea for a cucumber. Follow the tutorial to find out how you can make it into a cute little spring. Don't worry if it's not perfect the first time. Remember, it's all about practice. What are you having for breakfast today, Emma? What? Are you on a diet? Because such a sight is a definite hunger killer. Yuck, all sticky. Wait, you're not gonna clean it up with a sandwich. Oh, that's right, the plastic wrap. That might be an idea. First, you have to clean that shelf up. No excuses. Then just wrap it up in a piece of cling film. And that's it. Yes, seriously. Fancy a jam sandwich, Emma. It looks like the jar leaked a bit on its side. Not a problem. Just pull on that cellophane and there you go. Clean as ever. Clever thinking. All that mess neatly wrapped, ready to be thrown in the trash. You've earned yourself a tomato salad. All right, Jacob, there comes a time in a man's life when he can no longer avoid washing the dishes. Sore luck. Just when you finally try to make your kitchen a cleaner place and you're out of washing liquid. Oh, great. Good thing she told you in advance. Well, no use crying over lack of soap. Maybe there's at least a little left on the sponge. <sighs> Not even a single drop. It seems like all the forces of nature are against you, Jacob. What can you possibly use instead? Hand soap? Why not? Cut a hole on the side of a sponge using a sharp knife. Now, simply push the leftover soap inside. Rinse with water, rub, and squish a little bit. Good enough? Then let's get to work. The cool thing about this hack is, you save time because you don't have to pour new drops of washing liquid every other minute. See? Took only a little while to get the whole sink empty. Hey Crafty Pandas, I hope you enjoyed these life hacks. Let us know which of them you're gonna use next in the comments down below. If you wanna learn more, feel free to check out our older videos. Hit the subscribe button and ring that bell to stay tuned for more.